Hi, I'm Putnam, a programmer who's been brought on to help program Dwarf Fortress. Over the last couple months, I've been working on a new modding system for the game, made to accommodate future magical endeavors. Here is some of the new Lua script. Those who could read the Raws may actually recognize some of what they're looking at. This is, indeed, the Raws for Vampires. Fully visible, open source, and modifiable. You can make your own vampires, of course, and your own major curses that can be used in place of vampires. And you can remove vampires entirely from the game if you want, and use your own, without the use of world gen options. Every single procedural object, except instruments, is now in the Lua. Instruments aren't there because they're the most complicated and monstrous procedural raw objects in the entire game, with the literal monsters being a distant second. And since the monsters took more than half the dev time, instruments are likely to be just as bad. You may expect them later, but the initial release could simply not have them. Here's an example mod, using the new capabilities. It adds a new type of procedural metal, laughing metal, which can be used by the divine metal generation, which checks for this table. It adds a new type of forgotten beast, unbidded spears, which are always intangible and insubstantial. That is to say, they're made of steam and fire, etc. And they can only show up on land, so you're not going to have fire forgotten beasts spawning in your water area and causing all sorts of trouble. And just to demonstrate the sheer power of this, this adds a bunch of new metals, an alloy with adamantine and every single metal in your game. In the current world, not just the vanilla game, but every single one added by vanilla and every mod you have. And these adamantine alloys are weighted so that they have at least 40% the strength of adamantine, and also, as you can see scrolling through the list here, are even colored, weighted based on how much adamantine is in it. It also adds a reaction to it, which as you can see here has a new little token, that'll be fun for the modders. And you can make these in fortress mode, as long as you have the required metals. There's a lot you can do with the new system. New procedural objects are very available. This will go into beta after adventure mode leaves beta. The code you see here is subject to change. The API should strongly avoid breaking mods once it's stable, so ideally it'll reach substable form during beta. Questions about the generator API can go to the Kitfox Discord, the modding discussion channel in particular. You can also post about it on the Bay 12 forums. 